Hello everybody and welcome to episode 8 of Stoneblock. I have stupid duped googly eyes, which is lovely, so it makes me laugh every time I see them. But, in between episodes, I did a few things. Uh, mainly, I grew some essences. Basically, I have more glowstone, more coal. I think I grew... what else? I grew all of the, th uh, the alloys here. I made also enderium seeds and I should have some finished up enderium in here. So we can toss that in the drawer like so and put that there and what else I made mana steel seeds I made I think I had eulorium seeds but I made uranium seeds as well because we get uh, we get uran blah, 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 blah. uranium from yeah I got it from here I had um, 12 eulorium or if you remember getting it from one of the loot bags and I just turned eulorium with a uh, hammer there's a there's a recipe. If you take your lorium ore and use the engineer's hammer, you get uranium grit, and then you just smelt that up into refined uranium. And I made the ingots for that. I also have, uh, if I look at the seeds here, I have uranium 238 seeds, which make the other uranium, which make this guy, which actually hurts you when you have it in your inventory. But I think they're exactly the same, because if you look at uses for this, it's used to make mox nuclear fruit with plutonium, plutonium, Plutonium or tiny piles of uranium, which you can get from, I believe, the ingots. You can turn uranium 235, which is tiny piles of uranium. I don't, like, I don't know. We could just get it from plutonium, I think. <clears throat> but the getting the mox nuclear fuel, if you look at the recipes for this, you can get it from refined uranium as well, from IC2, which is both, both is IC2, basically. Sorry about that. I had to cough real bad. Um, what else? I made this furnace, which uh, we can make because we have all of these guys. I kind of separated out a little bit of each because I've been crafting the seeds and stuff, so I can just grab, I don't know, four for these for making the seeds and stuff, and it makes it a bit easier. Over here, I'm still growing the same stuff. Also, draconium, because we need, we, we just can have some and use it for, for things that come along basically i have a spot reserved for awakened draconium once we get it also a spot for elementium and terra steel and then some ingots that we can possibly do like a glowstone ingots if we go into mechanism there's they're required for some stuff but i don't think we're really gonna need them but down here i've started kind of tnt slash digging out a little pathway down because i don't really need to have everything on the same level and i can just get like Turned this, which is the stupid mesa thing, into something. Where well, you can see still have, we'll still have some mesa grass here. So again, I might shave off this a bit more just to have the normal grass. Or we're going to try later to do the whole seeds from Botania stuff and see if we can turn the grass into some nicer grass and if it's affected by biomes. That's the, the thing that I'm wondering about. Um, what else? I have night vision now in my helmet. As you can see, we can see inside clearly. I also have uh, this guy, the item dislocator from Draconic Evolution. That's why we needed a Draconium uh, to craft that. I have all of the TNT stuff in my inventory. And over here, uh, the patient's bag has have been doing work. They've been opening up into nether stars and I need to put in some... Oh yeah, I don't have... almost. I have almost none in here. I'm gonna have to do that in between cuts here. But I've been just using the loot bag opener, tossing loot bags into here of different values. I've just been grabbing them out of here. I haven't finished all of them, and I, we're not going to do this today because it's so much work. But these are a few of the things, or most possibly of the things, that we're going to keep. You get actual additions blocks, which is really neat, so you don't need to use the uh, atomic reconstructor basically for anything. You just need the empower. And we get different ingots. For example, this bronze is not going to go into the same, um, into the same thing. Uh, uh, into the same drawer because we have a different type of bronze, I think, inside. I don't know if it's going to be inserted properly. But we get Supremium Essence. I presume we get Superium Essence as well. Or Supremium. Yeah, that one. This is Superium. They're so confusing, the names. But a lot of different things like Overgrowth Seeds, Dimensional Shards, Weather Skulls, Drawer Upgrades, Magma Slime Crystals. We get Pizza, which we could use as food. And uh, once we have the loot bags being opened, we can do that. And I, but what I want to do, basically, I think we're going to extract um, into a drawer, probably, uh, or into some drawers, different types of loot bags, just so we can clear this up. And then later, I'm just going to extract all of the loot bags into bag openers and just open them as we get them. So I'm not going to be putting them into here and extracting legendary loot bags only, for example, because they give you different rewards from different things. So that is one thing. 
I want to really set up the friggin what you call it the these guys today and I've been picking up things go away loot bags redstone stuff okay um, so for that I still need to do a little bit more work and seeing how I want to set it up I think I have an idea for setting up uh, we have two four six here and I think I want to increase it possibly by one more because we can do a room where there's well actually you know what there's six two four six let's do we're gonna do another row of drawers so it's gonna make it seven and then we can do a um seven row uh we can do what is one two three four five six seven eight nine hmm. either we can do like five of the cloches in a line and then fly there and five there and five there and then put an elevator in the middle and we can go down and have another five and we can organize them by ingots or we can do like nine on the side or something like that but yeah before we do any of that though i've been looking through the materials in ubook and the supremium has insane mining speed of 22 which is quite better than the mining speed of 17 that we have on this tool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to toss all of these in we can then take our speedy up wand and just melt it down super fast I also could add a crucible here, just auto making us lava, but the smeltery is going to move anyway. So we can grab this, toss it in here, and I'm going to grab the p -p -p pickaxe and the hammerhead cast first, and we can pour a pickaxe. I think that's going to burn a couple, and that's going to do eight. And I was thinking of hacks, hacks head, hacks head, and I think I should have enough. Oh no, that was just two. <clears throat> Okay, we need two more ingots if we want to make the shovel head, but I think we don't need to because we can have a different one. So if we grab these, oh, and I also want to talk about that. I forgot about it. Um, if we grab this, it's 25 mining speed now, and it's going to give us makes your tool or weapon randomly drop prosperity shards, which is nice, and increases my tool durability or whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, so we're going to do that. Um, and this gonna be mining speed of 16.27 and the hammer is gonna be mining speed it's three and now mining speed six awesome wait where did it go did it replace I don't know which oh yeah we have the hammer head was cobalt now it's uh, now it's this and we have still the cobalt and the ardite uh, things on the on the, the, the plates that's the burn can we instant mine now? Oh, we're so close. So I would need like a bit more redstone. Um, you know what we can do? We have uh, 30, what's using 30? Oh, it's probably all of the wireless things that I have. These guys, that's like drains, that drains, oh, it's just one. Um, this battery is four, I believe, yeah. And then we have Possibly upgrades in some things. I'm not really sure what would be using my GP that much. I don't know. Um, also, I'm pretty sure I need to talk about this. I moved the crucible over and I'm having it ex uh, export cobble out of the system automatically. And then it's exporting the lava into here, which is transferred by a fluid conduit into a magmatic generator with 16 upgrade speed. That's the thing that's using GP, stupid, stupid dumb. Okay. And then I have the energy cell here with the flux plug. So we have flux network power and the wireless power for um, for that. And I think I can just do like uh, two speed upgrades is gonna be enough. And we can grab the rest of the speed upgrades. Then we can do mechanical, let's do user. I have to search it here, user, mechanical user. We need to make a couple of droppers and a couple of lever levers we can just make a stack to have like that and i'm gonna need some conduit we can do this here let's do it like that and like that and this guy is going to be on you activate use item on block it's going to be left click and we're going to add him some speed upgrades and this guy's going to get some speed upgrades and we're good on power we can grab some netherrack just gonna grass a compressed block and put all of this stone away. 
I also made some quantum bags from uh, quantum storage, which are really nice. They're big bags. And I have a bunch of conduits made as well for things that we need to do around the place. And we can just do this and that. And then I need a item collector, collector. I need a hopper. And then this. And then a filter. I don't think I have dandelions in here. No, I need yellow dye. A filter, right? So, and we can just say filter netherrack, which is in here. So I'm gonna grab one. And then we do an advanced item collector over here. Put this, radius is fine. This is done. We can say place block. And we're leveling up to two. Super speedy. Nice. And I can just leave that there until it levels up so we can get a bit more speed. And then I can do instant mining, which is going to help in making the caves because I can just randomly spam and make nice looking holes and stuff. And this could be increased with the speed upgrades. Because uh, if I do this, it's going to be slow. Okay. Yeah, I presume I can just have 15 and 15 and should be the fastest that it could be. Yeah, so let me leave this in for a bit until it levels up at least once and we can see if one level of redstone will get us a uh, higher mining speed. The pickaxe got one level and I tossed my hammer in there right now so we can upgrade this now and see. It's so close. Can I upgrade my mining speed in a different way other than... I mean, it's just redstone that we have to and now it's 16,000 so it's... A lot of AFK time, or a lot of just time of, of it doing things. Um, what I can try, we have um, these, whatchamacallit, we have Supremium stuff, so we could make, is there a Supremium Paxel? If that was the case, oh there is. There is a Supremium Paxel. It's a shovel axe and pickaxe. We can try making this. It's only like we have nether stars because we got them. We got those from there. We get wither skeleton skulls. If not, we can easily go get more in the nether with this guy. It should drop uh, swords or skulls instantly anyway. But we have enough, I think, to make the three tools because we have thirteen skulls left. Yeah. Um, plus, if we wanted to, we could add witch water to here and just turn everything into its charged item form by adding like a row of witch water in on the sides of this that could be a thing um but yeah let's try making the supreme pickaxe and then we have i think i did make or maybe i haven't made well, hello mr liquefacted coal and steam but i i think i'm uh will be do, yeah, blah, 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 blah. gibberish again <laughs> the enchanter that's what I wanted to say, and I couldn't muster the words. But this, with levels, which we have insane amounts of because solidified experience, um, we can just do also, let's do this. Experience obelisk. Uh, oh, that's a soul machine chassis, which is soul dust, which is brown dye, which is... <sighs> they changed the recipe, goddammit. Uh, so I can just do the enchanter, but with this we can get efficiency five books and breaking books and stuff like that But the tools are unbreakable anyway So let me make supremium ingots and supremium cores and stuff and we're gonna craft the paxel and see if that's instant mine on the stone with efficiency five There we go. I can make the supremium paxel now. Is this instant mine off the bat? It is not okay, and we need silk touch on it as well but my pickaxe is still leveling up, so we can use this for the time being. And I forgot to mention a few things that I also made, because I made a few things in between episodes and I forget to tell them. I started making all of the different generators just to get the quests done. If we look into the quests here, and into power generation, we have a bunch of them. I was got stuck at the halitosis, and we can still craft the other ones, I think. If we look at gen generator... Uh, and I got stuck here at the halitosis, but the frosty we don't have snow or ice So we can't do that right now. We can possibly do the death if we grab a spider eye Apparently I have bones in the system Oh stop There's the death generator Then we can do though the halitosis requires magical wood, which is bookshelf Bookshelf I have few and then some gold, good, good gold. 
and I have levels on me. Can I do this just in my crafting window or does it need to be in a crafting table? No, okay. Five, I think is what we needed for that. Wonderful. And the slimy we should be able to do if we craft up a slime block from possibly regular slime, not the purple slime, even though we have insane amounts of purple slime anyway. But the, the, the slimy. And then it's slimy. Yeah, okay, they all did. So the frosty, we need some ice and some snow, which we can get in a couple of different ways. But the halitosis, I have the one end rod over here. And I think it's best if we use this end rod to go to the end rather than use it to make the generator right now. And we can get end rods in the end in the end cities because the crafting of the end rods is um, is a bit changed here. It's ender tethers, no problem. Nether quartz, no problem. Lavender quartz, problem. We need botania if we want to make that or botania if we want to make the, the flowers because we can turn dandelions into any flower basically. So we can just put these guys back in here. If I toss all of these in the system, they're gonna just gonna uh, flood my, my storage cells, even though I still have quite a bit of space. But uh, we can just grab the loot chests now. How's my inventory space? Let's just clean it up a bit. Take that off, take that off. Just those I don't need, the cables I don't need, the sign I don't need. And we can just clean it up slightly. Put that in there. Wands over there. I ha I also got a staff of traveling off of one of the uh, out of one of the loot bags, I believe. So grabbing the quests now. Let me just collect all of these. Also over here, we can collect the furnaces that I have made to make the ultimate furnace, which again we have all the materials for it. So it was really easy to do. That and ultimate furnace. Are we full now or not? Uh, do I have any more else or I have this processor quest that I forgot to claim last episode Didn't do any more draconic nor project E over here. Yeah, I'm I upgraded the cobble gen. How are we in space? Let's do this Just so we don't I don't know if you if they drop on the floor or if you lose them, but that that and auto sieve and we can also go to the mining dimension and see what the, all that is about Oh, also fan iron spikes item collector. That's doable. Let me let me craft those those things. There we go. It's complete. Nice. And the rest, I don't think we can do at the, this point. I mean, I can make the insanium ingots and the tier six crafting seeds, but I'll do that in, uh, off camera or in between cuts, maybe. Uh, let's go back to our our looty chest here, and we can just toss everything in. Okay, more of these cells. I can also just trash can these fans and that because I'm never gonna use it probably oh I also made this network tool which is used for uh, diagnostics in uh, in AE and it's also just a wrench Wow two of the same rewards back to back interesting okay more of these I made this today <laughs> god damn it okay flask of magma skin more epic bacon, which is more food, which is fine. Weather resistance. We can add that to our chest plate. That'll be cool. Okay, Fluex and Certus. You can toss that in my ender chest. But I also didn't mention that I have. I have an ender chest with an importer. I'm going to show you in a second. Invar hammer. You can go in there. Fluid display. Okay. Draconic course. Go in the system. You can use those for crafting. Oak and wood in the system. Black Lotus. Draconium infused draconium. Draconium infused obsidian. Sure. Mystical fertilizer. Lithium. Glowstone ingots. I think lithium is like an end tier something from mechanism. Um more epic bacon. More Inver Hammer. Diamond Furnace. Nothing too interesting. Yet, nature core, nature core, epic bacon. And the last one, upgrade speed, second tier. That's cool. Uh, I need to take those and I can toss them in the system. And the epic bacon I'll grab for myself so I can eat it. And everything else here is pretty much obsolete right now. So the wither charm we can grab supremium. 
I added the drawers uh, with the essences to here, and we're down prosperity shards, I think. We need, I think we need three. Did my tool drop any? Oh, 51. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> um, so, tinkering table. Uh, this guy. We take chest plate. Because the chest plate can have the strength, the absorption, the wither resistance, and the anti venom. And the wither resistance can be put on anything. What can the boots have? Jump boost, absorption, anti venom, fire resistance, and resistance. We could toss resistance to the boots. We don't really need jump boost. We could do that. I believe it's like so and like that. Nice. Wither resist. I don't think it shows here, but it, wither skeletons won't hurt me anymore, which is nice. And we can also enchant the armor to make it even uh, more durable and uh, have good enough protection. And we don't really need mending on it because we have this tablet that automat automatically repairs it as I take damage. How's the pickaxe doing? It's almost on 16,000, so we're going to see that then. But let me make some enchanted books now for the Paxel. And we can also give it a sl uh, charm, but I believe the only charm is... Oh, mining AoE charm requires two Paxels. Interesting. Okay, and that's the only thing that uh, it can do. And I don't think it's the abil has the ability to turn it on and off. Like, I would love if this has uh, an on and off switch for everything. Uh, so you could just press a button and have it on and off. Then I would use this armor for forever. But we're going to get, like, a angel ring and probably end steel armor again because it's just the versatility of the armor uh, is superior to, to basically to premium armor. So that's nice. Uh, but ender chest is over here importer acceleration upgrades I can have an ender chest and I can or ender pouch and I can just toss anything here and it goes into the system Which is nice for cleaning up my inventory and stuff like that So I can just toss it for example this and that in there. That's nice I added another collector here with an item filter for prosperity shards because it drops prosperity shards when it mines this So it's a prosperity farm also Which is nice I enchanted the Paxel with Efficiency 5 and Silk Touch, and also my armor with prote Projectile Protection, Fire Protection, Blast Protection, and Protection 4. Just all of the different enchants, just so we have a little bit. And this, indeed, is Instant Mine, which is lovely. So I can turn on my magnet so we get things right away. Uh, I wish there was a block which, from Draconic Evolution, which would be like, prevent the magnet from working in an area. I don't think they have one. If we look at Draconic, I don't think there is like a magnet suppressor. There was a magnet suppressor from, what's the mod? The Joe Tato mod that had the Slipgator magnet, basically, because uh, Slipgator wanted a magnet that sucked everything up, and um, he just made that for him. Uh, that... What is this? It taps into the energy of the dragons on Helio Crystals and along with the souls of Funir Banderman uses that energy to extract an egg from the Ender Dragon. Oh, okay. That's just a way to get the Ender Dragon egg. Um, oh yeah, we have Draconic Spawners as well. Oh, oh, it's a broken spawner? Can I just, can you just use the core on the spawner? Do I have the spawners in here? I do not. I have blaze spawners. And there's probably draconic souls as well, but what if we do this? I got the draconic core Draconic core Does it still work in the same way where is you toss this down and then I draconic core it? Oh It does and it's a blaze spawner. And I can break it and place it nice and if I do a uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Draconic core I have it here wyvern core. Can I make one of these? Yeah and the Awakened I can't do because Draconic Evolution. Oh, that's an achievement. Can I do this? Oh, you get the Draconic Core back. Oh, that's neat. They they changed this. I pres Are you still a Blaze Spawner? It just says it's a Spawner. It doesn't show the Blaze inside. Hmm. Let me grab the other Blaze. And we're just gonna do this, just so it stays a blaze spawner. And now what I can do is I grab my remote, just so I don't get murderized. And turn off my magnet, because I steal everything from the mobs. Uh, remote. Turn this off, please. Wonderful. Staff traveling, we can just get inside. 
And then I need some blocks. Um, I mean, we can just use, yeah, blocks. We have blocks here. Flesh blocks. This is the center. Let's put it here. Oh, this is like sand. Oh, and I'm breaking it with the wrong thing. Oh, blazes. Okay, they're not gonna die, and I pres I think not more of them will spawn, but I can turn that off with the redstone signal as well. I can just add another thing to, to, to I believe, this guy. Well, this turns on... Um, well, laser dying now. And mob should start spawning, yeah. Um, let me do a little bit of a test and add another one of things there so I can turn the spawner on and off. I added a position filter for the spawner and now if I flick the switch, it turns on. And if I flick it again, it turns off, which is nice. Neat. So we can have blaze spawning and they should get pushed off the top of the spawner as well because of the mob fans. So that should be nice and neat. So now let me get on with digging out this and we can finally get the closures set up and working and getting all of the things. The pickaxe is now, well, I'm turned around. Uh, the pickaxe is now legendary level and it has two extra modifiers. So we're gonna take it over to my toolsmith table thingy. Not toolsmith, tool forge, that's the word. We're gonna add a bit more redstone. And is this it's still not instant to mine? Okay, so you need so many modifiers to get it to be instant mine. At least maybe there's one, um, one more thing, uh, bah, bah, bah. stop, st stop. Uh, there could be another mining tool. Uh, do we have the materials and you book here? There could be another thing in here. Let me look if there's something with more mining speed. There is nothing that I could find that has more mining speed than Supremium, so, or Superium. Supremium, it is Supremium, right? Right? Supremium. Keep messing those up. But I did a little bit of work. I extended the grass down here and we're gonna decorate it and fix it up and make it a bit prettier and all that in, in, in at a later point. But over here, we have cloches. Nine here, nine there. We have a little five by five hole here with a crafter and a crafter there. So the crafter on this side is gonna cover these nine cloches. That crafter is gonna cover these nine cloches. And the, this nine cloches on here, there, and basically four wings of nine cloches. So that's 18, uh, 36, is that the right math? Is it? No, yeah, possibly, yeah, I think it is. Uh, but a lot of cloches, uh, four times nine to be exact. No, eight times nine, <laughs> that's the one. And what I have here down is just a basement area and I'm gonna dig down more and possibly create another level, but not right now. I'm gonna go grab a bunch of dirt. I, m I might have to crush some down because I think we're r running low. And then we're gonna do, I think, power conduits on the top. And I'm gonna need to make a painting machine so we can paint it the color of the block. Basically what I wanna do is, let's say we grab, um, I have space in my inventory. I made a whole bunch more cloches as well. Let it just clean up a little bit. Kind of clean, okay. So let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one block of each. So the idea is, and I need some dirt, hold up, dirt. Uh, we can put a dirt in there and let's say iron, and then we take the iron block, we're gonna put it up here. And that's gonna be a facade for that cloche and we could also put the iron blocks behind but i'm not really sure what i want to put behind yet so basically we would have let's say gold copper tin aluminum lead silver we can do nickel and osmium even though the osmium kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. I mean, the vanilla blocks do as well, but that's fine. So we would have that, and then we could add the dirt and all the seeds for the corresponding ones, like that. This one is tin. Then we have aluminum. 
lead, silver, oops, silver, nickel, and osmium. And I could just have the wireless thing power it, but I think we're gonna run power conduit. So there and use, use flux points just so we don't have a problem with power or overloading the wireless RF battery. And then we can have a sink, which I don't have on me. So let me grab one. I made a bit more space, but what we can do is grab our conduits, the item and the fluid and the power. Uh, and I'm gonna have to break all of the blocks for the power, but I'll do that off camera. I believe we can insert water through the back. So that should be done like so. And we can put the sink over here and then run conduits over like so to this one and like so to these guys over here. And the insert should be on and we can just extract always active and they should get water, wonderful. And I don't think I will be struggling on filling them with water because it's it's filling them pretty fast and all of them evenly, so it should be good. And then the item conduits are gonna go here, which are gonna be facaded as, again by something block that I don't know yet. And the same over here on this side, like that. And we can say extract always active on all of them. And I believe I saved up one. I got this in loot bags. It's a conduit probe. You can set it to copy mode, I believe is this now. I don't know where it says. Oh yeah, over in the corner on the right. This is copy mode, so I believe we can just... Please tell me this works. Why do you not work? Ah, oh, sad. Okay. I might have to see if something's wrong with it or something, but it should be able to copy conduit settings. So we could just easily right click. We don't have to right click and then left click on the always active. But we're gonna extract out of those and then insert into this guy and extract on, let's say, brown channel. And we're gonna set up an ender chest over here. I had one somewhere. We can put the ender chest either up here somewhere and run a conduit over here, or we can just use multiple of them and just do that and then insert into the ender chest. And we're gonna set up uh, possibly a different colored ender chest to insert into the system, uh, just so it's um, it's autonomous that way. We could also run a conduit all the way over to the drawer controller if we wanted to insert directly into the drawer controller. Or even better, we can just uh, take a colored ender chest and put an exact same colored ender chest and put it directly into the drawer controllers, possibly both of them. And that way we don't have problems if we forget a void upgrade or something, or if something gets disconnected accidentally, then everything from the inner chest is gonna go specifically into drawers and not fill up our storage disks. So let me start configuring most of these and adding seeds and adding power and all that, and I'll make a painting machine and stuff like that. And I'm gonna show it to you once I have a bit more progress. This is how one side would look kind of completely done without the covered backsides at least. But I have facades up here, as you can see on the top. Even if I hold something from Ender.io like a conduit, you will see that there's energy conduit inside of the facades there. And I have a flux point here powering this and powering the crafter, and I made a derp. I thought the crafter did nine recipes of the tier three, and it does eight recipes. And there's no other crafter besides refined storage, he could hold nine recipes, but... Um, the molecular assembler, I think is just one recipe. So we could have nine molecular assemblers in the end here and it would be a bit more visual, but I think it's fine. Uh, I just added a crafter tier one here on this side and basically we have eight recipes in there and one recipe in here. And I just filtered it by putting in the spruce planks like this and then clicking the remember the current items in the internal and external buffers. So tin will only go in here and the rest here will go over here. And kind of, I was like, if I wanted it eight uh, cloches on either side, I, it kind of de destroys, the pers uh, destroys the purpose of me putting uh, nine drawers here. Really doesn't, because it doesn't really matter how it is downstairs. But I said, I decided kind of like the bottom row will be nine and then nine and nine. And we can add another drawer system for the rest of the essences that we have for crafting other things possibly. So I'm gonna set up in between episodes, uh, the rest of the cloches for the seeds that we have currently. And I'm gonna see what seeds I can make in between episodes as well. So we can try 
automating more things the next time, basically. But with that, this is going to be it for today. And I still have the stupid uh, derpy bob googly eyes, bobbly eyes, I wanted to say. But yeah, thank you again for watching. I am hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to see new videos. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.